Hi everyone, this week's toy hunt is at Target and they're just starting to put out some Halloween stuff and how cute are these little plushies? They're in the dollar spot section and the skeleton bat is adorable. <laughs> they also have some cute socks, bone socks. <laughs> Target has a nice end cap of advent calendars, so they're coming out already. We've seen some Funko ones, but these are like the mini toy ones. There's a cool Jurassic Park for the anniversary. There's the Pokemon one, some Marvel and Star Wars Lego. It looks like Mini Brands has one, including Dorables, which it looks like it's Series 7. Yeah, that's interesting. So even though they're on Series 10, they're still putting Series 7 in Advent Calendars. And then the mini brands are the Disney Store from Series 2. But that's kind of cool. I mean, those are fun gift ideas. And especially if you haven't collected any, that's a good way to start. The Star Wars ones are always so cute and fun. If you're a Star Wars fan, the Lego ones just have a great sense of humor. And then there's also this Marvel one. Spider-Man and then look at that with the bunny. The bunny's cute. I just love the different characters in, in costumes. It's not like, you know, just a plain figure. It's a holiday figure, which I like. And then here's the Pokemon ones. Okay. Some of them are, are dressed in winter vibes. Some of them are just like the regular little figures and then you get some like cardboard pieces. And then they have some for Super Mario. Okay, that doesn't reveal too much. <laughs> but it looks like you'll get some action figures. And then the Jurassic Park one. Oh, wow, you get um, the dinosaurs, but also, like, enclosure pieces to build, like, the little compound. Okay. That's kind of cool. Sort of something for, for everyone on this end cap with advent calendars. In the Magic Mixies section, it looks like Target got some more Pixling dolls in. They had sold out for a bit, but it looks like they have the mermaid and possibly the unicorn one. The deer is, is kind of tricky to find. They also have the fairy corns. They have the little cookies oven, the little lamb pet that I unboxed, which is super cute. <laughs> and then they even have some of the Squishmallow Mystery Squad blind bags. Those are cool. And then on another end cap in front, this is where they have this beautiful Disney 100 collection. So they have the new Disney 100 mini brand capsules, which are repaints of series two figures, but they're in that platinum silver metallic design. They also have a collector's set for the Disney 100 series. So that's pretty awesome. And then down here, they have the collectible figure packs, which all have a little theme to them. Oh wow, I've seen pictures online. This is my first time seeing them in person. They look really cute. I like how it's like the same art style for all of them. Oh, look at Baymax and Doug, Tomater. So they have different themed groupings. Oh, Wally and Eve, that's cute. So that's like the romantic one. They have the adventure pack, the being by your side pack. This is the laughter one. Oh, that's cute. Look at Forky, Mad Hatter. Wow, there's there's a lot to, to choose from. These are $19.99 each. And then on the back here, oh my goodness, overwhelming. But here's a look at the 100 characters. That's such a cool idea, especially if you like Disney collectibles and minifigures. I just think it's kind of neat to, to get so many, you know, favorite and random characters, too. A lot of characters that you may not see in any other little collectible form. So that's, that's a great idea for their 100th anniversary. Very, very tempting and very awesome. Also on a flip side end cap, they have all like the Disney Dorables. They have the new plushies from Encanto. It's the sisters, which is really cute. They have the composition books for the Academy, the lockers, the um, little car series for series two, as well as some of the new series two movie moment sets. I'm still on the hunt for that Jack Skellington. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. They actually have a bunch. 
Here's a look at the Monster High dolls. I've seen pictures of Abby being found in stores, so ah, I was hoping, hoping maybe we'd see her, but not, not at this Target. They do have the cool Monster Ball. There's a gorgeous Draculaura online, which is like one of those deluxe designer figures. She looks stunning. They also have the cool car. I like it. I like the cobwebs. Down the action figure aisle, Target has a nice Ninja Turtles section as well as Skeletor, this new version from He-Man. That looks really cool. And then this classic duel between those two from the Book of Boba Fett from the Black series. That's That looks fun. And then we have some Super Mario packs, the Sonic figure packs. This one's cool. Sonic's holding a hot dog, which that, that's fun. I like characters with, with food items. There's a little plushie down there too. We've seen um, Sonic Squishmallows too. I saw them once and then they, they were gone, but definitely cool if you're a Sonic fan. There's some more Smashers, some other action figures. They have a small Pokemon section, but they do have some of the metallic select figures. Oh, even Toxtricity, Pikachu, and Charmander. Charmander actually looks really cool in the metallic paint finish. Awesome. On it in cap, they have more of the 40th anniversary My Little Pony stable pack. I love this. I'm debating whether I should get one to open. In the Funko section, they have a nice selection of Target exclusive pops as well as the comic art ones. And then I noticed Target is carrying a lot more of the bitty pops, so that's really nice to see. They have a couple different Star Wars packs. That one's the Greedo pack with Han Solo and Chewie. That, that one's awesome. And then they even have some of the Disney ones. We've also seen these at Barnes & Noble. They had a lot there too. Very cool. So now I'm at Five Below, just dropping in because I went to another Target as well. But this Five Below is very well stocked with Magic Mixies, the Mixlings, whether it's Series 2, Series 3, the Crystal Woods. They even have more of the Alf Mal little squishies, some Disney Dorables. Oopsies. That's pretty cool. The little mini peak packs. They have the little Disney 100 capsules. Oh, we got little Tsum Tsums there as well as some cats versus pickles. I have still have yet to find the cows versus aliens. Oh my goodness. They have some cool anime um, keychains as well. Great selection of just a lot of blind bags to, to kind of take in and, and look at. It's always a good time. Oh, they even have some of the Squishville um, little blind bags. I gotta track down the series that have like the little mini Bigfoots. Got some Pixar uh, alien ones, that's cute. Even some mini Sonic figures, awesome. In the Funko end cap, they have a ton of cool items. They have the Villains Mystery Minis, which I love that series. They have some Disney characters, some Five Nights at Freddy's. They have the Villain Little Plushies. And Freddy Frostbear, oh my goodness, that is so cool. He was a Walmart exclusive um, when he was originally released. That is a great, a great find. And then they also have some Funko Pops and some more plushies, like the Food Series plushies, which is pretty cool. You have the Disney figures that are in the visible packs. At the check stand, they have some of these, I feel like these were the summer releases, but they're the little squish, uh, Squishmallow keychains little pineapple with a snorkel mask. I love the rooster. There's the shark, the little octopus. Cute. There's just like a box of these near, near the front register. So this one may have put some out. I'm not sure, but I feel like these came out um, quite a while ago, or at least in, in August, early August. 
I'm back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video is the haul in case you want to stick around and see what I purchased and I was very excited to see some new Disney 100 items out. I heard a lot about the 100 years series where there's going to be 100 characters so it was great to find them at Target. They had a very nice end cap display. So I picked up the Being By Your Side set. They're all themed to the different characters but then when you look on the back this is like the whole series. There's a Pete's Dragon oh my goodness Robin Hood lots of cool characters a hundred of them and they're a limited edition so I mean who knows what the edition number is but that's really cool I, I like the concept and they're made by just play which are the same people that do the Disney Dorables so I'm concerned about the paint quality but they're at least visible so you can definitely choose sets that look the best to you which I, I like and then I also picked up the dynamic duos I love little Dumbo and Timothy you got Mike and Sully Lilo and Stitch Donald and Daisy I just thought those were were really cute and there are a bunch of others out there speaking of which I actually went to a second target on my way home and they had this pack which has Robin Hood and Mr. Toad. So this was like a must buy. And there's Lightning and then that one has Tomater. So those two need to be together too. So these are kind of like addicting the way they've, they've grouped them together. Um, and this one is the Spirited Adventures pack. <laughs> That's really cute. And there's Miguel and Merida. Very, very cute pack. And then I think I was feeling the hype for the Disney 100 series because I had seen these online and I was like, oh, am I going to get them? And I guess the answer is yes. Yes, I am going to get them. They're basically just the platinum silver repaints, but there's 50 different ones to collect. They're the limited edition for the Disney 100. And that's the series that has Grogu. It's like the series two of the Disney store one. So I actually picked up four of these. They do come in at $9.99 a piece, but you get five minis inside. And you know what? I thought they would look cute together and yeah, kind of, kind of got in on the hype there, but you know what? They're, they're cute. They're good. And then I was in the area, so I swung by Five Below, and I'm glad I did, even though I didn't really need to spend any more money, but I picked up two items. One is this Tokidoki Series 10 Unicorno Blind Box, which is great. This was kind of looked like it was open, but it's definitely glued, so we're good. There's something inside. And if you can find Tokidoki for $5 a piece, then that is a steal. And I think they have some online as well at Five Below. So that's that's a great price. And then another great price was picking up the Funko Freddy Frostbear figure. I do have one that I kept sealed. So one of them I will probably open, but for five bucks, I couldn't pass this up because the other one, you know, I paid the full like $12.99 for. And I'm very excited about Five Nights at Freddy's, not only with the movie, but they have some great themed holiday action figures and Funko Pops coming out soon. So. I think he's a good find. He was a Walmart exclusive back when he first came out, but notice they don't have that exclusive tag anymore. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but either way, he, he's definitely a cool one for, for $5 especially. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.